Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for March 2nd, 2021. Well, yesterday we had quite a response yesterday with a big gap up and we triggered a bit of a short squeeze, forcing those folks who um, had held short over the weekend out of the market yesterday, pushing us real hard. But unfortunately, we still left behind some question marks that have to be addressed. And we have some other things perking this morning that could create a little bit of volatility. Let's check out these technical charts and see if we can get any idea how we might want to approach the market for today. So let's settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we still have some questions left behind after yesterday's big substantial rally in the market. Let's take a look at that and see if we can figure out where we want to go from today. First off, if we draw the trend here on the Dow, you got to say that the Dow did a really good job yesterday. Those bulls came back, roaring back, recovering that trend in the chart. But doggone it, we left just this little question behind. We rallied and then we pulled back directly from that price resistance right there. We popped up there and just could not quite get her done yesterday. And as we moved into the close, we saw a little bit of selling coming into the market, pulling us back off of that level. So the Dow being one of the strongest indexes out there right now, we had some big surges in those prices yesterday. We still have some questions out there and we still have this big ugly top right here that we still have to clear as well as this overhead resistance. So it's gonna be an interesting day today. And as we see bond yields starting to rally again this morning, and news reports that, the, that there may soon be a Fed policy change to maybe try and address that, there's going to be an interesting challenge here um, by the bulls and bears. Will they, um, who's going to fight here harder? Um, who's going to come back um, or who's going to win this battle. It's not out of the question to think that those bears may become a little bit emboldened, can, especially if those bond rates continue to rise this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. If they were to push back, you could see a bearish candle here would certainly raise some questions and would um, add a, a level of technical complication to the charts that we may not want to see here just yet. So keep a close eye on that um, in the Dow. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY did a really good job yesterday of rallying as well, pushing and pushing and pushing in this relentless drive higher. Unfortunately, check that out. We did not break through the downtrend in the chart and we still left behind resistance levels in the chart that yet need to be addressed. So as we tried to push up there and break through that, we still struggle with that level of resistance. And let's take a look at this. If we draw in a trend line, depending on how you draw that, that's a little bit tight, honestly. Um, we, we have this uh, multi-level of resistance right up here. And that may not be a problem if we can get those bond yields to pull back. But if those bond yields continue to show the little bit of rally that they're showing this morning, that could be a bit of a problem here uh, for the market. Um, once again, the last thing we want to see is those bears reemerge and push back in. Now re remember, futures were down earlier this morning. We're reacting a little bit positively in the pre-market here. It's kind of been the norm. We get the morning pump up and then we see where we go after we get that morning pump up. But watch that carefully right in here. A bearish candle in here would certainly raise some eyebrows and um, add some major question to this market. Can we push through that resistance level um, um, with uh, you know 1.9 trillion in stimulus around the corner? You would think that that would certainly engender some confidence in the bulls. But if we could see Fed policy changes, if we could see a um, 
um, rising long-term rates, that could be a problem for the market and that could embolden those bears. Let's take a look at our um, NASDAQ. Now our NASDAQ still, even with such a beautiful rally yesterday, leaves behind considerable questions. Um, we have a NASDAQ that is still challenged by price resistance in the chart. And although we're rallying back, let's take note that we did, however, one bullish thing, recover yesterday, recover that 50-day moving average. There was some question in the early market whether we'd be able to recover that. But as you can see, we, re we recovered that confidently yesterday um, by the close. And we're trying to show a little bit of bullishness here this morning. But let's note that we still have significant levels of price resistance in this chart that need to be dealt with as we rally up. So there is still that question out there. Could we happen to catch, and particularly with bond yields rising, could we happen to catch some bears coming in here and push that back down below the 50? Now that would be a major problem. If we see a failure, the confidence of the market could be shaken pretty heavy if we happen to see some bears coming in there attacking um, on that NASDAQ. Can't say that that's going to occur, but we do want to keep that in mind and we do want to be thinking about that possibility existing so that we're not rushing or chasing into stocks that are already very extended after yesterday's big move. So watch that carefully. Also, I want to point out the possibility, just the possibility, I don't want to be predicting anything, that we could be forming a head and shoulders pattern here on the NASDAQ. So even with that rally back, we run into these resistance challenges and that pattern challenge that still may come into play. So kind of keep that in mind. Could the NASDAQ draw the rest of the market down? That's a big question and we're gonna have to watch that close. Let's take a look at our um, IWM. IWM continues to enjoy a very, very strong energy sector and a strong um, uh, sector uh, in the financials doing well. And if we take a look, depending on how you draw this trend, if you draw this really, really tight to this move, we broke that trend. If you draw this trend right in here, we broke that trend. You could also draw this this way, um, showing that we kind of held on. And you can see that we held above our 50-day moving average in the chart. We can also see that we still have this little downtrend um, in play that we were not quite able to breach back through and we have um, resistance levels right here in this chart setting up. So once again, we have that little question mark in here. Can we push on through there or will those bears battle back? and challenge those resistance um, levels in the chart. So watch that close. We have that little complication that we still have to try and work through. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, although we had a great pullback in the VIX yesterday, fear dropping out of the market, let's keep in mind that we have yet to break down through price support um, in that chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages, we, we broke back down below our 50 day moving average, but still not a whole lot of confidence here in uh, that fear index. We're still holding, remember, we're very, very close to setting new record highs in the Dow with a VIX still very elevated above 20 handles here which is remarkable. Um, we typically don't see that. Now, the big question I think that yet has to be answered is will we hold this upside trend, uh, that little upside trend in the VIX? So as I've mentioned many times before, that first fear spike is really nothing to particularly worry about. Um, obviously, it can be very painful in that shocking move. The question is always going to remain is if we pull back and hold a higher low and then see that fear coming back in. That's where real selling can take off. And so we'll want to keep an eye on that. I'm not suggesting that we um, we are a, 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 a tremendously bearish market because we're not. Um, the FOMC, the um, Congress is doing everything they can to just pound money into the economy, trying to encourage um, 
um, the market higher. Unfortunately, we have some questions out there still remaining as bonds rise up. Will the Fed lose control of these rates? And that's an interesting question to be answered just yet. So watch this closely. Um, fear could come back really quickly if we start to stumble on these um, rising treasury yields. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 had a great big rally yesterday, and it's that all or nothing market that we're seeing right now where we're either just running for the doors, fearing for our lives, and um, everything plunging, or over exuberance, and we just rush back in and can't buy stuff buy up stock fast enough no matter how high it goes. Kind of a, a crazy market as this volatility continues to affect us. Now, what we have here in T2122 is that little bit of a pullback at the end of the day actually brought us back down just out of that bearish reversal zone. So we still have some upside opportunity. If we can get that bullish push this morning, we could see that pushing up here into that um, bearish reversal zone. But just realize that we went from oversold to potentially overbought really, really fast. And if we happen to stumble at, at all on these uh, treasury yields, um, that could be a problem up here as we continue to press and push for all time highs. And we still have those resistance levels above that need to be cleared. So watch that closely. We're kind of on a tightrope here, whether or not we're going to break through to the upside or uh, push back down, watch that carefully. And then let's take a look at T2101. I gotta tell you guys, this continues to concern me. We had that huge short squeeze rally yesterday and notice that our market breadth continues to decline. Um, seriously decline. We're down here in a reversal area where we should be seeing that market breadth coming back up. But as of right now, not so much. That market breadth is really struggling uh, to move things higher. So keep an eye on that. I'm not exactly sure if that means we're about ready to turn that corner on breadth and we're going to start um, um, seeing more um, support to these prices or if we're going to continue to falter here with a little bit of concern for those bond yields. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar is a very light day. Not much to worry about here overall on the day here. We've got some Fed speakers out there going on. Some um, bill auctions and announcements and um, that going on, but nothing that would really um, create uh, market price action today. But let's keep in mind that tomorrow we'll be getting the ADP report, um, ISM and petroleum status. All of those things have that potential of moving us around, so just consider those. And remember, we're gonna be building up here for the rest of the week. Um, you know, ADP, a lot of jobs focus. ADP, jobless claims, and employment situation number uh, coming in um, on Friday. So as we build toward that, we could see some light choppy price action and consider that after such a big rally on one day. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar, um, we have a big focus to retail today. Let's take a look at a few of those charts and, um, see what we can uh, glean from that this morning. First, we have Target. Target has already reported, they reported a good strong surge in sales. Um, but unfortunately, we're showing a little bit of a pop and drop in the pre-market candle here. We gapped up just a little bit on that report, and now we're pulling back, and let's notice we have a bit of a downtrend going on here in um, Target, and at the same time, we have this uptrend. So we've got this big old atomic wedgie going on here in the chart, and it's going to be kind of an interesting thing to... Uh, visual or see whether or not that earnings is actually going to push us through and break some of these resistance levels to the upside. If we can push through and hold, then we might be able to see some more upside here on this. Or will we kind of break down and really start moving lower? Um, interesting chart to be 
paying attention to here this morning. We're also going to hear from AZO today. AZO uh, looks like they popped this morning as well, popped right into that downtrend and are also pulling back. And there we go. We've got that wedge again going on in that with higher lows, but lower highs. And we're continuing to wedge that out. Will we be able to push on through or will we break down from that wedge? We're going to hear from Coles. And I got to tell you, Coles, this is one beautiful chart. Coles just moving up in a very systematic upside run. Watch this for those earnings reports. Um, lots, lots of retail today. We're also going to hear from um, Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's will be reporting. Keep a close eye on that. See if we can push this on through. A little rising low in here, but once again, just those um, possibility of those lower highs also coming in on that chart. We'll hear from Ro Ross Stores, Roast, R-O-S-T. We had a little bit of a gap up this morning, as you can see, tried to push up here this morning and now pulling back. And once again, we've got these retail stocks and these interesting patterns where we're challenged by highs, but we've got lower highs in the chart. Interesting, interesting day today as they continue to report. We've got ANF, ANF that will be reporting today. Now this has been in a very, very bullish pattern, pushing to the upside, holding uh, support levels, very bullish. So it'll be interesting to see how that reports. Other than that, we have stuff like lumber liquidators that we'll be reporting today. This has been in a major downtrend here just lately. Um, remember, lumber prices have just been rising um, almost exponentially, um, likely going to hurt the building industry here very, very soon. So watch that close. We're going to hear from AEG excuse me, AER, AER will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Been holding in a nice upside trend. So lots of stocks. Now, if you want to get the full list of notables, if you guys want to do me a favor, you could click that link just right underneath the title of the video. You'll take you back to the morning blog and you can get that full list off of the blog this morning. Let's take a look at, um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and um also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos are not to provide hype there's plenty of that out there all you gotta do is watch one of the news reports there's tons of hype there's tons of excitement what the purpose of these videos are, are to take a look at the price action of the chart, look at those technicals and see what we can see and help us to try and decide how we want to approach the market for today. Emotion gets in the way an awful lot in the morning open. There's a lot of excitement around that. But if we can temper that with a really close look at the charts and the price action, we can do a better job in our trading. And if you guys find that to be helpful, please click that thumbs up button. Also leave a brief comment. And I apologize. We've we're doing a, an open house um, in the hit run candlesticks and right way options room the last couple of or for a couple of days. So if you guys aren't doing anything, um, want to come over, go to the hit run candlesticks um, site and you guys could log into either one of hit run candlesticks or right way options rooms and be in there the whole day today. We're also drawing, um, giving away uh, some hundred dollar gift cards. Um, so come on over if you want to um, get a shot at winning those and see what we're all about over there. Um, let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up now. Please keep in mind, guys, that a lot of stocks really rallied very, very strongly yesterday and maybe a little bit stretched out. Now, I've been mentioning Ford, and, and it's a stock that I continue to hold, and I really like this the look of this chart. We're holding in here pretty nicely. We're breaking through through um, this level up here. We're trying to show bullishness and push on through to the upside. Keep an eye on Ford. I hold that. So by the way, obviously I have a bias to that because I am holding on to that chart. Let's also take a look at Mo. Now I've mentioned Mo a few times as a potential and Mo had a good day and then pulled back. We see a little bit of bullishness coming in into that chart this morning, but more importantly than the daily chart, let's take a look at the longer term chart on here. Um, Altria really starting to pick up and let me show you my drawings. 
we have a very long term downtrend that has been breached to the upside and we're starting to move up and we're dealing with price resistance in the chart right here. If we can push on through, then we have some longer term upside here. And when the market gets shaky, sometimes these big old dividend payers um, can really start to pick up. So you might want to take a look at a stock like Altria. It's starting to perk up here and look a little bit better. And by the way, guys, tonight in the uh, public trading room, in the free public trading room, go to the Hit Run Candlestick site. I'm going to be doing a class on longer term trades and show you a couple ideas, ways that I have really made some uh, tremendous money trading longer term positions with both stock and option trades. And um, you might be interested in that. So that'll be 8 p.m. Eastern tonight um, in the Hit and Run Candlesticks free trading room. Just go to the Hit and Run Candlestick site, go right there to the top of the screen. There'll be a free trading room login, 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. Love to see you there. Let's take a look at some other stocks looking pretty darn good. Now, Disney, Disney has been very, very strong here recently. And sorry, that's a weekly chart. Um, looking quite strong and holding up in this range. And so notice we have that little bit of bullishness. Now I would expect Disney could still rest over here toward the trend a little bit more, but let's keep an eye on that chart. Take a look at the, to the oil um, or energy sector um, stocks, guys. XLE, XLE breaking this big downtrend. Boom, popped up through there. And as we broke that big downtrend, we came back and tested as support. And now you see we get that little bit of bullishness starting to come in, reacting to this trend. Keep an eye on XLE or energy stocks as a whole. They're starting to push up and we're seeing really good price action in some of these oil um, stocks like ExxonMobil, uh, BP. Um, showing bullishness, lots of charts really starting to put, perk up and looking pretty darn nice. I'm keeping an eye on this chart in Intel. Now Intel's had some sloppy price action in here. And as a matter of fact, yesterday I picked up a position in Intel, but I'm watching this closely to see if that can push on through. One of the reasons I like Intel, even though we see um, the tech sector kind of struggling here a bit is Intel was rather beat down um, earlier this year and for good reason, but um, rather beat down. And now we're holding in this little consolidating, a little bit choppy consolidating move. And I'm looking to see if we can get those bulls to push on through and just rally this up for a short period of time. Not looking for any big shakes here, but just an upside potential move. So there's a few charts for you guys to take a look at and maybe, um, uh, maybe uh, make some decisions on. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all great results in your trading. And I hope to see you tonight over in the Hit and Run Candlesticks room, 8 p.m. Eastern. Come on over. Love to see you there. Everyone take care. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning.